Good evening. She's accused of kidnapping her kids, taking them to London, and keeping them there for nearly two decades. But Eileen Clark is finally back in Albuquerque, and today a judge decided she is not a flight risk and should be allowed to stay out of jail. News 13's Chris McKee is live in the Newsplex with more. Yeah, Dean, the judge decided Eileen Clark should be released to a halfway house because she doesn't have a violent criminal history and doesn't have the money to take off. Even though she stayed out of the U.S. for 19 years, now the feds are fighting this. Her story has captivated audiences here and abroad, where British news outlets have followed Eileen Clark, a former New Mexico mom who's facing federal charges for allegedly kidnapping her own kids and running off to London nearly 20 years ago. She pleaded not guilty to the charges in federal court yesterday, but Clark could very well be released once again after a federal judge's decision today. In court today, the FBI said that Clark took off from New Mexico to London with her and her husband's three young kids in 1995, who were two, five, and seven years old. Investigators say Eileen even told her kids to use fake names and limited their contact with others. They say Clark left because her husband, John, wanted a divorce. Eileen says she was escaping an abusive husband, a claim the FBI says is made up. But despite spending years overseas avoiding U.S. law, a federal judge ruled today that Clark is not a flight risk and has no violent criminal history. He ruled she should enter a halfway house in Albuquerque. Even though a judge said it was okay, Eileen Clark didn't walk out the doors of this federal courthouse this morning. That's because the U.S. Attorney's Office is now getting a second shot in fighting her release. The U.S. Attorney's Office is now appealing the decision. Until then, she'll stay locked up in federal custody. Eileen Clark's attorneys hope to have a final decision by tomorrow about whether or not she'll be released. Now, so far, the federal court hasn't set a date yet on when they will hear the appeal to Clark's release. Even if it happens, she still faces a trial. Both the U.S. Attorney's Office and Eileen Clark's attorneys declined our requests for an interview today. Dean, back to you. Okay, Chris, Eileen's former husband, John Clark, also refused an interview request today. He denies the abuse allegations and has since reunited with two of his children. All three are now in their 20s.